In this video, we will learn about the concept of equality of objects. What makes two objects equal? Is it two references to the very same object? Or is it two separate objects that both have the same values? Let us understand reference equality versus object equality. Reference equality means two references, one object on the heap. Whereas object equality means two references, two objects on the heap, but the objects are considered meaningfully equivalent. Let us understand with examples. Reference equality. Consider a book object and two reference variables B1 and B2 that refer to the same object on the heap. The equal equal operator compares the values of the reference variables. If both references point to the same object, the values will be same. Therefore, B1 equal equal B2 will return true. So, reference equality means two references, one object on the heap. Let's look at the code now. B1 is a reference variable of class book. B2 also refers to the same book object. B1 equal equal B2 will return a value of true. Object equality. Now, consider two different objects of the book class, both having the same values for the name and author. Since B1 and B2 are reference variables pointing to different objects, B1 equal equal B2 will return false. But since both objects have the same name and author, we decide to treat them as equal. In Java, every object has access to the equals method because it is inherited from the object class. In order to check the equality of two objects and not their references, we will need to use the equals method. However, the default behavior of equals is to simply compare the memory addresses of the objects. Since the memory addresses of B1 and B2 are different, B1 dot equals B2 will return false unless you override equals. So, object equality means two references, two objects on the heap, but the objects are considered meaningfully equivalent. Let's look at the code now. Book class overrides the equals method in such a way that if two book objects have same value for name and author, the equals method should return true otherwise false. Create two book objects with the same value for name and author. Now when B1 is compared to B2 using equals method, it will return true. Let's recap. In this video, we learned the difference between reference equality and object equality. We saw that reference equality means Two references, one object on the heap. Reference equality is determined using the equal equal operator. We also saw that object equality means two references, two objects on the heap, but the objects are considered meaningfully equivalent. Object equality is determined using the equals method. Since default behavior of equals method in object class compares memory addresses, equals method should be overridden in every class.